Commercial satellite imagery of the Sinpo South shipyard from November 5 indicates that North Korea is on an aggressive schedule to build and deploy its first operational ballistic missile submarine. The continued movement of parts and components into and out of the parts yards adjacent to the construction halls indicates an ongoing shipbuilding program. The presence of what appear to be sections of a submarine's pressure hull in the yard suggests construction of a new submarine, possibly the Sinpo Sea Ballistic Missile Submarine the follow-on to the current Sinpo class experimental ballistic missile submarine. A probable launch canister support, or launch canister, appears to be present within the service tower at the missile test stand suggesting the ongoing ejection testing of submarine launch ballistic missiles. Such testing could support the continued development of SLBMs, a new ballistic missile submarine or a combination of both. Both the Sinpo class submarine and submersible missile test stand barge remain berthed at the same locations as observed since last August and appear capable of putting to sea at any time of Pyongyang was choosing, however, there are no activities suggesting a forthcoming at sea or submerged test of a Pukguk Song 1 for not minus 11, a potential Pukguk Song 3, or other SLBM. Imagery from November 5 shows two larger circular objects that may be sections of a submarine's pressure hull. The diameter of the first object is approximately 7.1 meters, while the diameter of the second starts at approximately 7.1 meters and reduces to approximately 6.1 meters. The larger object has what appears to be two internal cross members that could be used to support decks or internal equipment. If these assessments are correct, then the shipbuilding program is for a submarine with a beam broader than the Romeo-class attack submarine. At the test stand, imagery from November 5 shows an object visible at the top of the service tower that appears to be either a launch canister support or launch canister. This object does not appear in previous satellite or ground images of the test stand. While there is no additional activity of note in the immediate area, the service tower remains in place. During the earlier development of the Pukguk Song 1 for not minus 11, it was removed after testing campaigns. Therefore, the continued presence of this object suggests ongoing SLBM ejection tests. Imagery shows both the Sinpo class submarine and submersible missile test stand barge remain berthed at the same locations in the secure boat basin as observed over the past four months. A pennant number is visible on the side of the conning tower and a small unidentified yellow colored object on the deck immediately to the aft can be seen. Pennant numbers are typically assigned to a submarine after it has been accepted into service by the KPN. No equipment or personnel are observed on the dock adjacent to the submarine or test stand barge, and no support vessels are present in the secure boat basin. Support vessels have been used during previous tests conducted from the submersible test stand barge to tow the barge into position and provide electricity and compressed air to the barge. While both the submarine and test stand barge appear able to put to sea at relatively short notice, no activities are observed suggesting a forthcoming at sea or submerged SLBM test.